Have you ever gone to the fairs and seen how they made some beautiful painted designs on what look like mushrooms? Well, this is how it all begins. You have a swampy area with pretty much a dead tree. See how little? That just seems to grow right out of them. So if you take a nature walk in the woods, this is some that you can see. A real nice big one right there. But they get even bigger than that. This is only the beginning. So what you do afterwards is you have to let them dry. After you take them, they get the right size and the right shape that you want uh, for whatever you're painting or what the sale market according to size is after you paint a beautiful design. Uh, then you turn around and you pick them. You paint whatever you want on them. You can see this tree is just heaven for this. A few of them have also fallen off as you can see. It's a dead tree. Look all the way up. It's definitely a dead tree. But it's in this swampy area. So you take these mushrooms and then you let them dry. And it takes a while for drying. So if you are into it and you want to get into it right away, this is what you would pick and let it dry first. Uh, and you keep picking and keep letting some dry and you know to get ahead of yourself. Uh, and then you paint your design and then they just put a high gloss spray to it afterwards. Uh, to seal the painting and the mushroom. You know, a lot of people will put them on woods or uh, different designs they do with them and stuff. So, this is walking in the woods to show you the beginning of where they get all that. So, if you live in the city, you have to have a friend in the country here. You know, or take a nature hunt uh, walk. Nature hunt, too. If it's hunting season, you can find a lot of them. But they do grow really, really, really super big. So this one's really kind of small compared to some that I've seen and everything. Uh, and I've let them dry myself too. And put special little sayings on it. And then a silicone high gloss spray right on it to seal it. So if you're thinking of Christmas gifts or something like that, and you're thinking ahead, now, right now, is the time to turn around and pick them and let them dry. That way you can have it done in time for Christmas. All right, hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Bye-bye now.